right, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to be talking about my experience in the DOD Skill Bridge program and how that's been going and what my future plans are. And hopefully this helps you out for all my military members out there. Uh, so you may or may not know, about a year ago I decided that I was gonna get out of the Air Force. Um, that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, starting August 8th, I began my experience with the DOD Skill Bridge program. And so what that is in a nutshell, and I'll explain in a future video, in more depth uh, on what that is. It's basically an internship program that the DOD allows military members to participate in while on their last 180 days of you know, uh, military service. And hopefully this provides uh, either job opportunities or skills or networks, basically things that will lead you to having a uh, plan after your service is done right and so that's basically what I've been doing my last month and my data separation actually comes up next month the January 31st and so my journey began August 8th I drove cross-country from Augusta Georgia I was stationed at Fort Gordon and uh, drove all the way over here to Oceanside um, actually scratch that Carlsbad uh, California and uh, to begin my, my skill bridge opportunity. Um, I worked at a financial planning firm, I won't mention the name of it, um, for the last five and a half months as uh, their operations administrator. Um, that's a whole another story in itself, <laughs> and I'll get into that with another video, but basically my experience was, you know, it was great. It was uh, something that I think I needed um, I needed to kind of experience what it might feel like or what it can be like in the uh, private sector and this is exactly um, I got a good picture of a lot of things of what I could do and what I you know, shouldn't do and I gained a lot of skills in the last six months which I think I probably couldn't have done if I you know did something else right? so um, I began August 8th and I basically worked a 9 to 5 job Monday through Friday at this financial planning firm and I learned it took some getting used to basically um, got it for all my military members you know the there's a certain culture a certain uh, custom that we're uh, you know not having a better way to put it accustomed to right and so I didn't really understand the how difficult it would be to transition out of the Air Force um, until I actually had to work around a bunch of civilians for you know six months five months and it definitely took some acclimating and even though I work an office job right almost financial management uh, I was a financial management technician uh, for the five and a half years I was in the Air Force, um, there's still a culture that the Air Force, the military in general, kind of um, instills in members from the get go, and you kind of, it's kind of just life, right, that you're used to um, throughout your career in the military. And so, for example, right, calling people sir, ma'am, um, a lot of people don't like that, right? Who knew? <laughs> you know. I figured most people did, right? It's a sign of respect, but I guess, you know, some people just wanted you to call them, call them by their name. And so that's like a small example of what I mean, but it's stuff like that, which took a lot of getting used to, right? Um, for the first month or two, I was dressing sharp, you know, head to toe, right? I was, I kept my hair short. I didn't have any facial hair. Um, you know, it was pretty standard if I was going to a, you know, military, party or something right um, but in this case uh, it was a little overdone certain examples like that um, that for me it took you know listening to other people and what they had to say and, and really trying to fit in uh, to other office cultures and things like that that's what really um, I want to say was an experience that I needed and there was a lot that I learned from it. 
Um, in another video, I'll kind of go over exactly what I did at this firm, and I'll kind of explain the uh, what I liked and what I didn't like. Um, but it was, in overall, it was definitely a necessary experience, I believe. Um, and so you're wondering, okay, so you're getting out next month. What are you? Gonna, are you going to be working at this firm? No. Um, I decided that I was going to part ways uh, from this firm. I did get a job offer, um, but I decided not to take um, the offer uh, for a variety of reasons. And maybe I'll go over that in another video. But um, I decided that, you know what, I'm going to go my own path. Uh, I'm still in school, um, my third year, uh, trying to get my financial services or my, uh, my bachelor's degree in financial services, business administration, right? Um, and uh, while I'm doing that, I'm also doing uh, financial advising on the side um, as my full-time job and uh, working on my Series 65 right now. I may have said that I was working on it in the past, but uh, <laughs> I'll do another video on that in the, in, in the future. But I basically took it, mm, I want to say a month and a half ago, two months ago. Didn't pass, I missed it by like 10 points. Uh, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be, so I'm gonna spend this next month just reviewing all my notes and reading the book and all that stuff. And I'll kind of go over a video on that as well later um, and retake the exam. And so I am joining another firm, and which I'll tell you guys about in the future as well, and that does financial planning. And I'm very excited for that. I mean, I feel like I've learned a lot um, in the last five and a half months working in the financial services industry that I think that I can really make big changes implementing a lot of things and that my goal is to help out military members veterans retirees right um, their dependents on uh, with information and, and and help and guidance that you know I feel a lot of people in the military transitioning out right needed or need and my passion right now is to really help those people out and those families and so that's what i'm gonna be doing um now i live in southern california as you can see i'm wearing a jacket it's a lot colder than i thought it would be um it's december right now um you know it's like 50 degrees who knew um that it gets like this in california or southern california um so that's basically what i'm doing uh I'm trying to keep this this video uh, short and simple. I'll go into depth with all those different topics that I brought up in the video and future videos. I'm going to be posting regularly, and I uh, look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the future. All right, peace.